MC Ah, ito yung bagong deal MC, nawawala MC <laughs> Part 1 of our program is the dropping of the time capsule May we invite everyone to, to witness the dropping of the time capsule May we request our special guest for today to go near the time capsule? Let's have City Mayor of Manila, Mayor Francisco Esco F. Dumagoso. LTO and Chair West Regional Director, Attorney Karen Svinguito. Chief of LTO Manila Licensing Center, Ms. Ligaya F. De La Cuesta. Chief of LTO Manila North District Office, Mr. Alvaro S. Villanueva. Chiefs of LTO Manila Cluster, Chief of Manila South District Office, Ms. Liwayway F. Basina. Chief of Manila West District Office, Anthony Morales. Together with the PMP personnel from Station 3, Santa Cruz, Manila, Colonel Julius Cesar Domingo. And Captain Kerwin Evangelista. Alright, so now we will now be inserting the important documents. First would be the building plan. Next would be in the newspaper of the day. Yeah, I did Next will be the points. Cherry ball, no? Cherry ball. Wala na yun eh. Program po na yun. Yes, that's it. The program of the day. Program of the day. Alright. We will now proceed with the dropping of the time capsule. We proceed to the MOA signing. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. And now let's go back inside to begin the unveiling ceremony.
just about the unveiling of the new building but also today which is also a significant day for the Manilenios in partnership with the Land Transportation Office in regards with the integrated law enforcement system. Another highlight of this activity is the signing of the memorandum of agreement between LTO and the City of Manila for the Local Government Unit Integrated Law Enforcement System or the ILES which will provide a facility for Manila LGU traffic enforcers to connect with the LTO ID system for the real-time electronic uploading and lifting of motor vehicle and driver's license apprehensions records. And the system features facility for query or retrieval of records to aid in verification and existing apprehension as well as provide LGO its summary and the statistical reports for their monitoring and tracking of apprehension. May we call in LTO and Sierra West Regional Director, Attorney Clarence V. Quinto. Good morning. At the outset, let me thank you 
for joining us in today's milestone event. The unveiling ceremony of the 30 million three-story LTO Manila building. And the uh, memorandum agreement signing which will uh, connect uh, Manila LTU database on traffic and the LTO database. We at LTO are honored today that you are with us as we mark this milestone. We'd like also to thank uh, the mayor for hosting the LTO Manila and uh, we'd like to also express our thanks for Congressman Nieto for his initiative in providing funds for this for the construction of the building. I would like also to thank our leadership at the DOTR, Secretary Rugali, and our very own Assistant Secretary for the guidance and support in moving forward LTO and moving, uh, in improving our services. To our partners and the LTO staff, your assistance has been indispensable. Again, mabuhay tayo lahat at maraming salamat sa iyo lahat. Thank you very much, Arti Quinto. And now let me introduce to you our Mayor Francisco Esco Moreno de Mocoso of City of Manila. Mayor Francisco Esco Moreno de Mocoso started early in politics and became the youngest ever elected city councilor, the youngest ever elected city vice mayor, and the youngest ever elected as mayor of the city of Manila. He is the 27th mayor of Manila. His vibrant transformation story has captivated the imagination of many people in the country, business leaders, and foreign diplomats. U.S. Ambassador Sung uh, Su Kim described him the total rock star. Mayor Scott served as the Manila vice mayor for nine years, and was already a member of the Sangguniang Panlunsod while he was only 23 years old. Mayor Isko finished his three term as councillor, and despite his humble beginnings, Mayor Isko, Isko pursued and nourished his unwavering passion for learning. Not only he read books, especially about great world leaders, but also appreciates the value of think tanks. In 2012, Mayor Isko attended the Executive Education Program at John F. Kennedy School of Government in Harvard University. A year later, he finished the Emerging Leaders Executive Program, also in JFK School of Government in Harvard University. In the same year, Mayor Sko completed the Oxford Strategic Leadership Program in SAID Business School, University of Oxford, and he is also a product of an Executive Education Program at the UP National College of Public Administration and Governance. Mayor Iskoy Moreno received his Doctor of Humanities and Community Development degree from the Pamantasa ng Lungsod ng Manila in the year 2014, a fitting recognition of his 18 years of community service while serving Manila as city councilor and vice mayor. With his background, he was appointed by the President Rodrigo Duterte as Undersecretary of Special Projects of the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Prior to this, Mayor Esco Moreno was appointed by the President Duterte as Chairman and President of the North Bell Corporation. Mayor Esco studied law at the Arellano University School of Law three years after graduating from International Academy of Management and Economics with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Some of the prestigious awards and recognition he received including the Most Outstanding Filipino in the Field of Public Service Award, from Gawad America Foundation, an institution based in Hollywood, California, USA, and as one of the top 10 men who matter by People Asia magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to present to you the man who grew up in slum in Tondo and who is now tasked to rebuild the capital city of the country, the Honorable Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso, the Mayor of Manila. Maraming salamat sa tagapagpakilala. Uh, magandang magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Uh, especially to our uh, LTO and CR Chief, uh, Atty. Clarence Quinto. At uh, syempre, ang uh, paborito kong uh, LTO, uh, 
uh, site ng uh, Tayuman dahil dito ako kumukuha ng lisensya. <laughs> Ayun ang vision ng lisensya ko. Uh, except that the last time na nag-renew ako, sa post office ako nag uh, <coughs> dito sa, <coughs> sa post office. Doon ako nagpunta, di ba? Yung renewal ko. Uh, to our uh, director of the Manila Traffic Parking Bureau, Dennis Biahe, to Attorney Paul uh, Vega, our uh, Manila License Division Chief, at uh, sa mga kawani ng LTO, NCR, Regional Office, at uh, Tayuman Office, uh, magandang uh, araw sa inyo. At higit sa lahat, uh, ipinagpapakuna na namin no, na maraming maraming salamat kay uh, Secretary Art Tugade uh, for giving the city of Manila a chance uh, to clean our books by integrating the LTO's data and Manila's data. Madalit salita, mga kababayan, hindi nyo na matutulongges ang lungsod ng Manila. Wala na kayo loss-loss license. So, uh, uh, ang tawag niya, SMB. Uh, ano SMB? Style mo, bulok. <laughs> Ayan po. Yan ang buti. Uh, yan ang buti kung saan ang lokal na pamalaan ay laging nakikipag-ugnayan sa national government. Na kapag ang lokal na pamalaan laging nakikibagay sa national government. Kapag ang lokal na pamalan, laging nakikipagtulungan sa national government. Mas maraming pwedeng ma-access na resources ang lahat ng lokal na pamalan kapag laging nagkakaisa ang national government at local government. Kaya maraming maraming salamat uh, Secretary Art Tugade, maraming maraming salamat LTO at yung aming uh, Humigit kumulang uh, 20 mil halos yun. Eh. Alam nyo ba ang lisensya namin? Ang claim license namin? Uh, mga 50,000 plus. Uh, Paduplicate na yun. Ando, ta sa University of Recto. Uh, doon na yun. And, but uh, at any rate, you know, today is a good start to correct what happened in the past. Kung baga, it's like moving on, okay, napalusutan nyo kami kasi parang walang gobyerno nung araw, pero what is important is may gobyerno na sa lungsod ng Maynila. At ang Maynila, as I promise you, uh, two months ago, we will reintegrate Manila to the national government. And this is just uh, one of those proof already na we have done in the past week. Kaya sa mga staff ng LTO, ngayon pa lamang ipinagpapasalamat na namin. Ngayon naman, kung sakasakali para kami naman hindi hindi para gusto yumaman sa penalty. No? Ang City of Manila ay ayaw kong yayaman uh, dahil sa kababayad ng penalty. Kasi ibig sabihin, ay uh, walang disiplina sa aming siyudad. Eh, wala namang bayad ang disiplina. Tiway-tiway lang ang disiplina. Laway-laway lang yun eh. O kaya, o oh, ito naman, ipinagpapauna ko po sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin sa buong Luzon, Marahil, at particular na sa Maynila. Na mga nangahuli Ha? yung kanilang lesensya sa nagdaang panahon at ang ginawa ninyo itinakbuhan ninyo ang pamalang lungsod ng Manila and to give a very good example uh, may mga lesensya na ang penalty na umaabot na ng 80,000 now with the integration of data of the national government through LTO and with the integration of our data from Manila to LTO plus deputization na binibigay 
sa amin ng LTO, para sa amin MTPB, para sa mga kolorong, kambal at buntis. Hmm. Oh, binubuntis yung ano eh. Yung registration. Oh, kolorong, kinokopya yung uh, meron pa kami nakita, sariwa pa, kakaspray pa lang nung ano eh. Nung binding. But ito po, ulitin ko ha, sa lahat ng mga nangahuli namin na lisensya sa matagal na panahon. Alam niyo po yun kung nanonood kayo. Kunin niyo na po yung pagkakataong ibinibigay sa inyo ng pamalang lungsod kung saan meron kami general amnesty program. Ito ay tatakbo hanggang December 31 ng taong ito. Pinakamahabang amnistiya. Kaya, kung ako sa inyo, yung dating tinakbo ninyo na dalawang bulig na umabot ng 80 mil. Oh, pag nagyad ba kayo ngayon, ah, ang babayaran nyo na lang sa utang ninyong 80 mil ay dalawang libong piso. Grab this opportunity. Kapag lumagpas ng December 31 at sa awa ng Diyos uh, sa tulong ng ating regional uh, uh, director at Torne Quinto at na-integrate na namin at nagkaroon na ang City of Manila ng access connectivity with the data. Darating ang oras which is it's just a question of time. Once na nag-renew ka, nag-renew ka ng lisensya mo, lalabas, hindi ka bibigyan ng LTO ng lisensya dahil meron ka pang penalty sa amin. So, yan po mga kababayan. So, ulitin ko ah, lahat ng mga nahuli namin, no araw pa, tinakpuhan ninyo ang Maynila, ang pamalang lusod. May mga penalty surcharges and interest yan. Now, This is your chance. We're going to give you another chance until December 31. Pay your OBR or TBR, Traffic Violation Receipt or Ulysation nyo makuha ninyo. Maring pansamantala kayo nakalusod, kaya sabi ko sa inyo, you cannot escape the long arm of the law. Di ba ba? Atorne? Si Atorne si Director. Atorne ito eh. I always remember what my professor said, Justice Sandoval. You cannot skip the long arm of the law. So muli, sa LTO, Secretary Tugade, maraming salamat sa iyo. Sa mga kawani ng LTO, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Nawa, pagpalaan tayo ng buong may kapal. At ngayon ay maulang umaga. At maging ligtas sana kayo mamaya sa pag-uwi. At sa pag-uwi. Hindi sana kayo maabala sa panahon na kinakarap natin. Manila, God first. Once again, thank you very much to our Yorme, Yorme Isko Moreno. Ayuman, tapos ano, yung post office, tapos regional office. Edneb-edneb lang. May tao sa likod, ha? Piyait-piyait lang.
भाई भाई इधर इधर तो Let's go. 